Hey, what is happening? What is going on? Welcome back to the channel. So what I'm going to do in this video, is I'm going to show you, I just found a cool drag and drop water add-on. It's free from a, another YouTuber. So Chuck CG, check him out. I will link the product below and then you just type in YouTube Chuck CG and you will find the YouTube channel. And yeah, this is, this can come in handy. You know, if you just want to throw in quick water, you don't want to create the water like I do from scratch and it's a cube it's not just a plane so it works it works very well and I've tried it out so what I'm going to do in this video is show how to install it and let me just go here so yeah you just add it download it and then you download it there don't unzip it and then what you want to do is go back into blender so let's go back here boom okay and then what you want to do is go edit preferences this works in Blender 4.2, just so you know. And you're going to go here, and you're going to say install from disk. Boom. And then you're going to look for it. So it's in my downloads. And I'm going to just search Aqua. Click there. Click on it, install from disk. And then check it. And now it's installed. Let's go here, save preferences. And now, when you want to use it, just go here to... Your add-ons, all you need to do is just look for it. So you can go down here, and it's over here. Click on it, add water cube, boom, and it adds it. And now, if I go here, that's what it looks like. So if I go here, just close this, and I'll go to HDRI. I'm just going to close this, and let's go here to my asset browser, boom, it's your eyes, and let's bring one in, boom, throw it on there, or you can throw on this one, same thing, and you can see now, how nice it looks, so if I click on this, and I delete the arch, it keeps the water, but now, what you want to do is click there, go here, and you can change things, so you know you can change the wave scale, and you can change the strength. If I go like that, you can see what it looks like there. And then you can change the water color, you can change the IQR, you can change the reflection, so you can bring this up. You can bring it all the way down. And it gives you a lot more. And you can even animate it, so you can animate it with keyframes. But so you can see it's a cube, and it just, Instead of having to drag and having to create it like I showed you in a previous video, how to create the water with the with the volume, this just basically if I go to shading, I can show you. And if you click there, and you can see if I go here, that's just the shader. And if you double click here, you can see there that's all the involved. So you can see how complicated it is. And yeah, if you want to keep it simple, you can do like in a previous video I showed you how to create the water with the cube, with the volume, it also looks good. And or you can use it like this. If we go back to layout, that's what it looks like. And you can see there, that's what it looks like. And you can obviously change things, adjust things, change the water color, you can make it blue. And it gives you a little bit more options. It's an add-on, so it does help you just drag and drop water very easily. You can still scale this. So if I go here, go X, and you wanna scale it, you can still scale it like that up to you you can make it smaller and yeah it's um thought i would i stumbled upon it on youtube just um came up on my recommendations and checked it out downloaded it tried it out and i thought i'd share it with you guys so check out chuck cg check out the water add-on and yeah hopefully hopefully it helps hopefully you'll use it and yeah make sure you subscribe Check out Blender Kits, link in the description. Check out my Patreon, support me in the channel. But otherwise, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.